Wakati shirika la ahadi Kenya lilianza miaka sita iliyopita, wengi walikerwa na mradi wao wa kuangamiza funza ambao kwa kiwango kikubwa walikuwa wamemaliza baadhi ya watu. We are going to work very closely with the provincial administration. Anyone who would be seen to be buying or selling these shoes will be taken very strict measures. Siku hii ilikuwa tofauti na siku zingine kwani mkewe rais alifika kuzindua rasmi mradi wa kuwapa watoto viatu. Hata hivyo, waziri wa afya pia alifika hapa na kutoa baadhi ya mapendekezo yake kuhusiana na janga la funza nchini. Let me take this opportunity to thank Hadi Kenya Trust for thumbing, for partnering with Tom Shoes to make available the shoes which are being donated today. Mkewe Rais alielezea kusikitika kwake na jinsi funza wamewaangamiza watu wengi huku kidaiwa kuwa ndio chanzo cha magonjwa mengi kama vile ukoma, pepopunda na hata virusi vya ukimwi. For it's unnecessary, truly unnecessary for millions to be held hostage in their own homes because of this. It's unnecessary for children not to go to school because of this. It's unnecessary for millions to have to suffer one more day because of this. Kulingana takwimu za Wizara ya Afya, zaidi ya watu milioni 1.4 wameathiriwa na wanafunza na asilimia 80 ni watoto wa umri kati ya miaka 5 na 12. Mama Margaret Kenyatta pia alivishwa viatu wakati wa uzinduzi huu na kupewa vingine kumkabidhi mmewe na wanawe. Viatu ni kifaa muhimu mawatambuliwa kupambana na funza ambao wamewafanya wengi kupoteza vidole vya mguu au hata kulema. Mradi huu unatazamiwa kupunguza idadi ya wengi walioathiriwa kutokana na funza. Diana Rose QTV Nairobi